Hey guys, it's Rocket Stripes. Um, I'm so excited for today's build. Y'all, okay. So, you know, y'all have ever heard of McMansions, right? The like, awful American houses, basically, okay? Anyway, I wanted to build one of those, but we're taking it a step further. We're going just full upper class, like middle upper class suburban house, but 2010 and I'm so excited. On the outside, there's like this weird mixture of brick and then like the cheap like plastic planks that just look so bad and the backs, oh my gosh. Why, why is it flat? Why is there nothing? Oh, they're so bad. And I, my wonderful self get to recreate this utter monstrosity today with you guys and there's like no greenery on the house right like it's just it's so ugly and for what why oh it's so bad i can't i'm so excited i'm so excited i'm so happy to be doing this i just love building ugly things and they always have like the massive garages because people have just too much money and you know, it's American culture to buy more cars than you actually need and to destroy the environment with them and to get a new one every couple years, even if your old one wasn't broken. Love that for us. Love that. Who needs to take care of the planet? Obviously not people in America. I, I'm American, so I'm gonna hate on it. I will say better than Hungarian culture. Also gonna take a stab at that. Um, you can call me racist. It probably is kind of racist. Though I was born there, so it's not like maybe more i don't know i try to make calm videos sometimes and i can do a good job of it today is not one of those times i don't we're it's it, you're just we're just it's gonna be kind of aggressive you're gonna have to go with it right i never i never decide what i'm gonna title these things but i already decided that's gonna have the word aggressive in the title because oh lordy i'm not calm today I think I'm mad because the mail is late. Obviously, I'm not going to take it out on the mailman. That is mean. But you know it's not mean? Roasting the crap out of literally every other culture in the whole world. <laughs> that is not mean. Also, their roofs. I know, I know. Maybe I'm nitpicking. But their roofs are this, like, they're this awful, like, light gray color. I mean, you can see it. You've definitely seen it if you live in the suburbs. Who is in charge of these things? Freaking George Washington himself? No wonder it's ugly. The man was not an artist. We should have got Hitler on. I'm sorry. I should not say that. Um, but yeah, if we could have gotten an actual artist to design these homes, I think that would have been the first step. I think architecture is cool, right? The person behind these maybe should burn in hell for eternity but hey that's just a theory my well actually it's an opinion but the best opinion my opinion anyway let's start on the inside so we're gonna find some nasty carpet i'm super excited about honestly we need the beige one but i don't have any beige so i'm gonna go with white all right and then there's these beige walls that looks more brown. But you know exactly like the color I'm talking about. If you've never been in a house with these walls, first of all, consider yourself blessed. Second of all, you definitely don't live in America. Look, I don't hate America. America, fine. You know what? It's a country, who cares? I'm not patriotic though. If you're obnoxiously patriotic, I will dislike you and do everything in my power to avoid being ready. Now, I don't feel like bidding an ugly sofa, but we need an ugly sofa you know, kind of a toss up. What do we do? Do we take the lazy route? Do we not? Obviously, obviously I'm taking the lazy route. Okay. We're going to put this big sofa here because they always have the like three seaters like that. And then they have like the two seaters, even if it doesn't fit. We can put those above that window. I was going to put like once I hang down, but like that's not right. You know, not in this color. I think that my house was never quite that ugly. We're just going to stick with normal curtains. This is bringing back um, a lot of PTSD for me, actually. Post-traumatic, I had an ugly house and I hated it and I can't believe that they still exist and I just- <laughs> Oh my gosh, also coffee tables? Obviously we haven't had one of those bad boys in. Quite literally, bad boys. They're ugly as hell. Also, something you would notice if you came in one of these houses is the utter lack of plants. There's greenery, none. 
So I'm gonna put a fake mantle there, right? But guess what they would put in these fake ones? They would put like candles? Honey, what? At the very least they had like windows. Again, the architecture was ugly, but at least it was like kind of practical. I don't know what's like the fake brick and stuff. That is not practical. I don't know who, but part like the inside like layout and stuff, that was fine. Like I won't come for that. I'll give respect where to respect is due. Thankfully, it's not due in very many places because it's awful. All right, anyway, table time. These ones are not what they had. It's like, yeah, these. This is probably the closest we're gonna get. They had these and you'd always have like a kind of big set, whether or not there were a lot of people living in the household. That didn't matter. Yeah, they always put something above the windows, like in the dining room, like that's just like a staple. So the kitchen and the dining room and stuff. And those have those like nasty, like orange wooden cabinets with the white appliances. There's always to sink here with like a window. There's usually also like a back patio and stuff, but like I'm not, I'm not putting that much effort into this. Here's gonna be the oven. The oven and fridge were usually kind of close to each other. Might have been like a fire hazard, but mm, honestly, at this point, if you live in this house, I hope it catches on fire for your own sake. You can go take the insurance money, buy a new one, buy a nicer one. You deserve <sighs> literally anything but this. How can you have a counter bar thing without a fake bowl of fruit? You can't, not in 2010. On top of the things, now this is when it gets really good. These, there's like fake plants, like a freaking jungle up here, which like doesn't make sense because obviously they die. So I mean, yeah, they have to be fake, but like, ugh, I hate it so much. It's so perfect. It's so perfect. It's so perfect. We gotta get the tile in here. I almost forgot, and that is a crucial aspect. Okay, this isn't perf- Oh, but it kind of is. This is like basically what the tile is. It was like lighter than this usually, but the same general idea, unfortunately, had that in here. We'd also typically have matching ones in the bathroom. Mm. 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 All right, so on the second story, we got the master bedroom in here, kind of small, but whatever. And then this, like, that looks over there. That's a thing they have a lot. Don't really, an atrium. Anyway, bathroom, can't wait to do this. It's gonna look literally exactly like my old bathroom. And this, which is a kid's bedroom, which I know is bigger than the parents' bedroom, but that was kind of design flawed. It's not an actual thing, so sorry I only look perfect. God, I'm in such a mood today, but it's kind of fun. It's kind of entertaining. Okay, so we're gonna put just like the bed here and like ugly, ugly side tables. Also, um, like a dresser with a mirror because that was a thing for a long time. I'm gonna add um, my very favorite curtains in this one. These kids bedroom, beyond excited for this one. Let me show you, just give me a sec. First of all, boom, fan. Second of all, so excited for this masterpiece, bunk bed. It is kind of facing the wrong way, but I really wanted a bunk bed. It's like eerily small and I'm not a huge fan. Anyway, like, what are these ratios? Miss Decklecraft, you fricked up. Um, anyway, I'm also thinking we gotta add a desk for them to do their schoolwork at. They gotta get that schoolwork done. A lava lamp, dude, those are all the rage. They still kind of slap, those are like, I don't know how those aren't still in style. Um, honestly, I think they kind of are. Also, ugly bookcases. This is too cute. Mm -mm, that's not accurate. No, honey. There we go. Oh, and you had like your VHS tapes on there. <laughs> I think my family might have been really outdated, but that's fine. Also, one other thing they had, which, God, so bad. These like strips of like wallpaper or like color, like lines and stuff but like right next to the ceiling why 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 <laughs> so bad that looks so like yes i would totally have that in my room would have eaten that up i was don't judge me oh <gasps> here i'm so excited okay I don't know if it was just my family, but we would always have a computer desk, which looked just like this, except it was covered in junk. It's nasty. And that's like where the family computer was. My dad and my older siblings had their own, right? But then like us younger ones and my mom would all share one to play like Club Penguin and RuneScape and Webkins, I believe on. Anyway, 
that's gonna be that holy crap this looks so accurate that's kind of horrifying um also kind of proud of myself so we're going to go on our tour of the real american horror story 2010 houses and interior design so you come in okay to your left i don't know you have a living room with really ugly furniture um recliner or just like beige sofas beige walls obviously you have a fake fireplace tvs that just do not fit the size of the room ever um always these little things in the bathroom very cute that's just what they all look like i don't okay anyway dining room always have the clock above the window that's just a stable piece pictures really horrid china cabinet these awful chairs kitchen we have the ferns gotta love the ferns and then white appliances to this day don't know how those are a thing um and a bar which honestly i stand by upstairs now this is where it gets a little bit less accurate so you gotta bear with me but it's fine you got your family computer nice desk kind of secluded but still enough space for parents and siblings to walk by and annoy you and then we have the master bedroom big vanity ugly furniture curtains blue okay then you have your um looking down over the front door area so that way when guests come you can see and then lock yourself in your room very practical 10 out of 10. in here we have the bathroom very cramped but like it fits everything also always a bathtub shower combo those suck absolute worst they're still around don't know why and then we have the kids bedroom always the ceiling stripe gotta have those bunk beds lava lamp staple piece um ugly bookshelf of course and i think that's about all i didn't add the ugly backyard um because i'm lazy and the house usually has a few more bedrooms plus closets and a master bedroom on the downstairs i just kind of am letting that slide anyway guys thanks so much for watching hope you liked my vintage build <laughs> if you stuck around this far i appreciate you and i love you and um bye <laughs>